Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, I am going to attempt to do this as quickly as possible. And this is regarding Saintro 2 Juiced Patch, current version 5.1.1 as of this recording, as well as the Gentleman of the Row version 1.9.2 patch, rest in peace, Idle Ninja. And I'll be showing how to get this running all together with Saintro 2 on Steam. And the first thing you will want to do is, if you own Saintro 2 on GOG, what you will do is just run the installer. Click OK for the language, English, or whichever you happen to speak. Click, less on, click Yes on the EULA. But before you continue, make sure that you select your Steam Apps Common Saintro 2 directory. We'll specifically choose Saint, or Steam Apps Common and then we'll just go to Saintro 2 and then you'll click install, but I've already done that. So once you have that done, you will then want to open up the juiced folder in any extraction app that you use, WinRAR, Stubzip, whichever. And before you copy DF Engine, Discord SDK and reload.ini, you will go into your Steam directory Steam apps common Saintro 2 and rename the stock DF engine dot DLL to pass underscore DF engine dot DLL. Once you do that, you will copy DF engine discord game SDK and reload it INI to your game directory. And once you do that, you can tweak a few different settings in the reloaded.ini configuration file. Oops, Let's see, you gotta open that up in the uh, text editor. And personally, the options that I will adjust is I put borderless to zero and better windowed to one since I'm going to be recording the game. I will also disable aim assist, set that to one, better movement behavior set to one, better drive-by cam set to one, better handbrake cam set to one, Fast doors I keep at zero. Rich presence I keep on one, and I believe that is about it. Everything else I leave normal. And then you will save that, and then once you have your juiced patch configuration file set, you will then open up Gentlemen of the Row. Currently, the final version was 1.9.2. You will then click on Create Custom GOTR patch and then for me personally i have the two option and i have it set to skyline super sliders greatly extends the range of all sliders and then i have number three for character animation mods i just have the super girly animation just because the way i make my character it's just super silly looking number seven for weapon mods i install all the current weapon mods and then number 12 for uh the sheet mods i just have the open sheets they no longer flag saves except low gravity. And there I would just hit P to build the custom patch. And once you have the custom patch built, you go to my custom patch folder and you will copy those files or you will select cut and then go to your game directory again, Steam, Steam apps, common, Centro 2 and paste them here and overwrite and select yes to all. And then once you do that, having the juice pass, switch the config file set, and gentlemen of the row installed, you can just launch Saint Row 2. And then uh, let's see if my OBS captured that correctly. Yes, it did. So basically, you will see a console window open showing a bunch of different debug information. And then looks like my program is not capturing the game FPS. So I'll just fix that. There we go. So you will see the FPS is way higher. Just set to 31 for these uh, screens right here. Uh, there we go. Shoots up to almost 500. And then we will continue. I did a little bit of playing. And then my character should have the very feminine walk. Yep, there we go. So this basically shows that you can have both the Juiced Patch and Gentlemen of the Row running at the same time. Hopefully this is helpful for anyone that wants to have increased performance and the silly options of the Gentlemen of the Row mod. 
Again, rest in peace, Idol Ninja. And uh, yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching. Hope this is helpful, and I will see you, I guess, in the next videos when I am doing a playthrough of this game.